All right, everybody. I am uh, new at this, so I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm kind of out of my comfort zone. But me and my son's been talking about posting stuff on YouTube for a while now. Because we are going to start doing some street racing and some uh, track racing next summer. Uh, first of the year, we're going to get him a junior dragster. Or we're going to build something like a junior dragster that he can race out there at Pacemakers, where we're from. There in uh, here in Mount Vernon, Ohio. Pacemakers is our hometown. They've been here for many, many, many years. I used to race out there many years ago. The last car I ever raced out there was a GT Grand Am. Um, now we're kind of upgrading. I'm 38 years old and just now getting my uh, shit together. Kind of from 18 and to let's see here I was 18 and then I ended up uh, yeah from 18 to I don't know 36 37 I kind of made a left turn instead of a straight path I turned off the path a little bit so I kind of didn't get in trouble or anything but just being young and dumb took me almost 40 years to get my shit together but anyways I'm in a good spot now so we can actually do some of this fun stuff that we always talked about doing I have a 12 year old son that he loves racing he's into it He's uh, actually kind of really starting to take interest into racing after he's seen a uh, blue and white S10 kid by the name of Billy the Kid. He races out there at Pacemakers. He races all over the place. So uh, I've been talking about getting an S10 myself. So, beginning of this past summer, I ended up, well, I would say about the middle of the summer, I ended up getting a 84 Chevy S10 square body. If anybody don't know what an 84 looks like. Me and my uncle uh, was talking about it right before I bought it back in February I think it was before February we started talking about since I'm getting my act together and getting on that right path we was talking about building one from ground up and it was going to be strictly for track but then I decided after I got it and right before he passed away I was telling him that I like to Put a nice motor down in it and make it street and track that way me and my son can go cruise around and stuff like that man it's rainy out today it's crazy heading out here to pay some bills and, and uh, stop at the parts store to get a couple things for the s10 matter of fact but yeah, so my uncle, he uh, passed away in, in uh, February, so he didn't get a chance to build it, but 
every time we work on it, you can feel his presence. So I'm going to make me and my son's dream come true, and we're going to uh, we're going to uh, make his dream come true too. He uh, actually made one of his dreams come true. He uh, dirt track race. If anybody's familiar with Ohio, uh, around Columbus and Mansfield, the north and southeast, um, he used to dirt track at Lakeville Motor Speedway, and he uh, dirt tracked there, I think it's called Hilltop or something like that. So, uh, that's where he... Uh, dirt track that so uh, like I said we got an 84 Chevy S10 me and my son's building so uh, we're going to we're dropping a 355 down in it my son's dream well not really a dream he always talks about you know this Billy the Kid and his blue and white S10 we watch him non-stop good people never met him in person but they are um, they are um, my turn signals ain't working again today uh, they are uh, real good he's a he's a hell of a race car driver I can tell you that and uh, my son wants us to uh, someday meet him in person and uh, put our uh, or uh, trucks against each other. No, I'm not calling him out. But I think it'd be kind of fun to uh, race one time on the streets with him. That would be fun. But uh, anyways, um, where I'm going with this story is uh, this S10 that I'm building. Me and my son were... Uh, building it for the 